Let's continue on with our role of business analyst helping Sunset Graphics Incorporated model their process. Here we're looking at the conversion process and this is what we know about Sunset Graphics. That when the quantity on hand of a product drops below the minimum level, the item manager is authorized production to increase the quantity on hand. Based on the bill of material for that item, they issue material into work in process. Sunset Partners then construct the items, and upon completion, the products are placed in inventory. Just taking a look at how that translates into our BPMN activity model, we've got our starting point, we authorize production, We're going to go ahead and issue our raw material inventory to work in process. We're going to perform our work and then we're going to complete our production and end the process. Now just looking at sunset, we can add additional swim lanes to our pool. And here we've got an inventory manager and then we've got conversion partners. Okay, the inventory manager tracks inventory levels and authorizes new production while the conversion partners set up batches and perform work to create the finished signs and banners. So if we want to transfer our model by refining it with these swim lanes, we can go ahead and um, take a look by who is responsible. So the inventory manager authorizes production. Then it goes down to our conversion partners, where we're going to set up the batch. Looks like we've added another step here. Let's take a look actually on the next screen, what is going on with this. Uh, but if we ignore just for now, we're performing the work, inspecting work. Is our batch done? We've got a gateway here, yes or no. Okay. If it is, we're going to keep going and complete production. Then our inventory manager is going to update records and then we'll end our process. So let's go on the next screen to take a look at what we added down here. So it seems that our customer pointed out to us that there is a separate department that actually will inspect the work and keep our internal controls up. So that's what we've got going on here. We've got this work inspection and we also have this intermediate uh, event which interrupts the flow if our inspection actually fails because then we're going to discard the errors and go back uh, to our raw materials here and start the process over. And then here this additional step is that well first we're checking to see if the batch is done and then next we're checking to see if the batch was the complete order. Maybe there were several batches per order. So if the order had more than one batch, we're going to say no, and then we're going to loop back to set up the second batch. And we're going to keep doing this until the order is complete. Lastly, let's take a look at our business rules example for the conversion process. Uh, let's start out here with the authorizing of production. Our intention is that the partner with the proper authority authorizes production to ensure finished goods available meet our expected demand. We do have some authority. Supervisors must, must authorize production of greater than 5,000. Our access controls again is that limit who can use and change records in the system. The partner authorizing production cannot modify the inventory records. And our application control, ensuring our data integrity. Here we're going to set up uh, the system must provide an authorization order number. We've got default values, range, and limit checks. If we want to take a peek at issuing our raw materials, our intention here. So we issue from raw material according to the bill of material recorded accurately. Our partner issuing the material must not be the same partner that authorized production. Our access control limiting who can use and change records. The partner recording issue of material cannot modify the bill of material. And lastly, that uh, application control to ensure our data integrity. 
the system must only allow a partner to enter the number of items issued based on the bill of material subject to range and limit checks on quantities. So that wraps up our look at Sunset Graphics um, activity model and process with their conversion. Thanks for joining me.